Hi folks, welcome to another chip break. Let's talk about some housekeeping stuff here at the shop. Then let's talk about goals for the year. Uh, I wanna talk about how we think about goals. And then I actually wanna share with you guys uh, my 2016 and my 2017. So housekeeping, a week from today, Wednesday, uh, January 18th, Autodesk is hosting a free Fusion 360 HSM cam event here at our shop. I would love to have you. Judd is ready to go home for the day. You tired, bud? Link in the video description with info to RSVP, but nothing too formal, a chance to talk to a lot of those people, ask questions, see the software. I'm excited. Speaking about being excited, uh, passion is so important. And that was what I sort of concluded when I was talking, thinking about my 2016 and my 2017. And I will share with you guys, I would ask that you don't take advantage of me for sharing this, but I did get a little burned out over Christmas. Uh, I kind of knew it might happen, uh, we were traveling a lot. We had a lot of jobs come in. Uh, I got sick. Um, and you know what? Some of it was self-imposed because I have a three-year-old son and a four-month-old daughter, and I love spending time with them. I chose to do that. Made for some long nights and stressful days, but um, I think I'm okay with it because I sort of take that into account for how I think of 2017. And look, folks, entrepreneurship is hard. Uh, uh, it's a balance. It's a balance between... Sorry, the electrician's actually hooking up the service grinder. Um, it's a balance between what's that healthy and appropriate amount of a grind versus, look, you gotta say, stay sane and it's gotta be sustainable what you do. One more housekeeping thing. American Rotary, what an awesome company. Chris, uh, one of the sales guys there called me and said, John, we love you, we love your open house. Uh, we, they've always done, been, been very generous with their sponsorship. They are having a contest where you can enter and win and all expenses paid trip to our open house in May. I'm sure there's some details or caveats or limitations to what that is. I might be for United States folks only, so sorry. Um, but what an awesome gesture. They make phase converters. They've been a big part of our story. We use them to get started. We were running our shop in our garage in New York. And I wanna say thank you to American Rotary for, actually they've done a really good job being part of the YouTube machinist community. Um, I know they've done some work with Keith Rucker and, and James Green as well. Really cool. Okay, so goals. Here's my takeaway for goals. Instead of looking forward with your goals, so you know now we're thinking early January, what do we wanna do for 2017? Um, I find that doesn't work for me because what I do is I put everything under the sun because I'm an entrepreneur and I'm a hungry guy and I'm young and I, I wanna do it all. And that's not good because I'm not a big fan of these goals that you don't meet or achieve because entrepreneurship is tough and you've got to be able to measure your own results. And to me, setting up a goal that you know you're gonna fail, eh, that doesn't make sense. Um, I do wanna to say too, I keep coming back to this, you make your own happiness. I constantly see people that have more than we do and that have less than we do, and that's not how I think about it or compare it. But you have to love what you do and you have to be passionate about it, which does directly tie into what I'm talking about for goals. Instead, write your goals this way. Right now, write your goals as if you're reviewing 2017. What do you wanna tell me, or tell yourself, or tell your wife, or your business partner? Uh, don't, by the way, avoid business partners, but um, what do you wanna tell them at the end of December? And say, I am so happy, I'm so proud that I got this done and this achieved. Because to me, it's way easier to be more reasonable with your goals. I actually started, have do I've started doing that almost every day. Because we talked about this in an earlier chip break, how I run my daily organization schedule. I now have a to-do list that's got three levels. One is a, I can't go to bed unless it's done, and I keep that short and uh, other less important lists. But um, saying I'll be happy if I end the day like this, to me is a really rewarding way and it helps you keep that mentality. Because uh, one of the things I'm struggling with, and it's on my list of 2017 goals, is uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I sort of act as like the shop foreman and operations guy, and I like to be a machinist. And uh, those are all very different roles with very different mentalities and, and attention to detail levels and energy levels and so forth. So let's share my goals. I started out 2016 saying I wanted to end the year having moved into the shop and really be in the shop and have it feel like our home, and it is. And that is, I'm very grateful, I feel very blessed. Uh, we, it looks like we've grown a lot. In some respects, I think we're still very small and we try to keep it lean, but this is great. Um, life is good and hey, sometimes I have to remind myself of that because you get caught up in the daily grind of, of making stuff. 
Um, I wanted to buy a VMC responsibly. Uh, and that was huge to me. I wanted it to be a good part of our story and what we're doing. We've got some products coming out for Tormox I'm really excited about, um, but it's been great. Um, and I still love using the Tormox. That to me, uh, why, if I could do one thing in life, it's inspire people to start machining and start making parts. Uh, I love the bootstrappers, the hungry guys. It's my full-time job now. I need a big shop. I need machines like the Haas, but to me, that idea of being able to bootstrap and work and make something, that's awesome. Wanted to have a healthy baby, my wife and I did. That means the world to me. I have a great marriage and relationship with my wife. I love that. Uh, I wanted to crush it on YouTube. And you know, it's tough because there've been a lot of people who've done a phenomenal job on YouTube and it makes me self-conscious and I wish, I wish we were doing a little better in some respects. On the other hand, holy cow, we beat 100,000 subscribers, we're up to 145. So I say that not because I wanna be greedy, uh, but because I wanna be putting out great content that you guys enjoy seeing, watching, and learning from. We redid the Saunders Machine Works website. I'm happy it helps us focus on some of the products that we're offering and selling. Uh, that's great. It's uh, those things and others have really helped me with my day to day. The ship station stuff, we talk about this in other chip breaks. Um, and then I want to aggressively pay down the mortgage on this building. I'm not a huge fan of debt, and when we have some debt, I want to try to have a plan in a relatively short time try to get that paid off. So that's just kind of my bootstrap mentality. For 2017, I want to make sure I keep tuned in with my passion. I think maybe, uh, maybe it's just because I got burned out, but. Um, you know, it changes when it's your daily job, but I still love making stuff. Uh, and freeing up my time from some of the entrepreneurship hassles and paperwork lets me make stuff. And I think that's probably why you guys watch me is I love making stuff and, and seeing that transformation of a part into something. So I wanna stay focused on some of the things that we're doing, do them really well. We're basically tooled up. You know, I think I'm gonna get a new plasma. I'd like to consider a tumbler, but otherwise, 2016, we made some really good equipment purchases. Now it's time to keep crushing it, keep making products, uh, keep doing what we're doing with some job shop work, more products, the training, and the YouTube videos. And lastly, slow down. This is, I think, also why I burned out a little, is I have a whatever, personality trait or character, dis I'm predisposed to getting worked up. I will run a mile a minute. You probably see it in my videos. I move too fast, I talk too fast. One of the things I'm learning, slow is fast. Uh, don't get worked up, it's tough. I get phone calls, you get people bombarding you, questions, uh, So much. there's so much, too much stimulus in this world. Someone was asking me if I wanted an Apple Watch. I'm like, I wanna get rid of my phone. I don't want a second phone on my wrist to nag, nag me every 13 seconds. Um, what I love is I love having two or three hours with nothing else to do than to master a process or a tool operation. Yeah, actually, it's kind of funny. Right now, we have a new Sandvik face mill and I'm trying to learn how you dial in the little insert heights because they're all adjustable inserts because we're trying to get just primo finishes and some of that comes down to the tool recipe, the inserts, the height. Um, the Sandvik rep is actually coming on Monday. We're gonna play with this. That's what I love, like I, I just do. So folks, thank you for watching, thank you for supporting. Think about your goals. You know, you gotta have that passion and, and you gotta take pleasure in what you do. The numbers also have to make sense. We're not doing this for charity. Uh, so be realistic, be honest with yourself. Um, I will go back to a book that changed my life, which was Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People. Be honest with yourself. Think about what you do and why you do it. Treat people well. Uh, and again, make your own happiness. I love that I get to do what I do. And th thank you, folks. It's awesome. Take care. See you soon.